Hi everyone, let's talk about Pascal's triangle and Pascal's identity in combinatorics. Let's say we have a grid like this, so we're looking at the first quadrant, and we're going to call this point over here 0, 0 as usual, and let's say we pick some other generic point, let's say m, comma n. Then what we want to do is consider the, the paths from 0, 0 to m, n that are always going to the right or going upward. So it can be any combination of those, but we can only go to the right or we can only go up. So for example, we might choose right, right, up, up, right, up, up. So that's one possible path. Let me erase that. So we're going to call the set of all those set of, we call them increasing paths. We'll call it C M N. So from 0, 0 to M N. Now what we want to do is find the cardinality of C M N. That is we want to find the number of increasing paths from 0, 0 to M N. And we're going to do that in a direct way but before we do that I want to show a recursion that happens to be true. That recursion is that if we look at M N then either the, penul the penultimate step is the second last step. So the second last step is either an up or it's to the right. So over here this point is m minus 1 n and this point is m n minus 1. So what that tells us is that the cardinality of c m n is equal to the cardinality of c m minus 1 n plus the cardinality of c m n minus 1. So this recursion is true and once we directly compute what c m n is we can substitute it in for this and this as well so that will give us a nice combinatorial identity which is called Pascal's identity. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna directly count what CMN is. And what I want you to notice is that if we were to go from say 0, 0 to over here, the number of right moves 1, 2, 3, and the number of up moves 1, 2 is all the same. Like if we did another one like this one, right, up, right, up, right, there's still three rights and two ups. Not to mention every such combination of rights and ups that have the same number of rights and the same number of ups leads you to this point. So that means we're looking at all permutations of m rights and n ups, which is equal to m plus n factorial divided by m factorial n factorial and that is equal to m plus n choose m or m plus n choose n. So that is the common the combination that is the formula for C M N. So this is actually equal to the cardinality of C M N. And what happens is that we can substitute it into this recursion and we get that m plus n choose m is equal to m plus n minus 1 choose m minus 1 plus m plus n minus 1 choose m. And this is we don't actually need m and n to be on the top both like this. So if we if we take a deeper look at it, uh, we can actually write it in the following form, which is totally equivalent to it. 
it's that for all n integers that are greater than or equal to 2 and k greater than or equal to 1 and n greater, strictly greater than k, we find that n choose k is equal to n minus 1 choose k minus 1 plus n minus 1 choose k. So this identity over here, it's a famous one and quite useful at times, is called Pascal's identity. And I'll show you how it's relevant to something called Pascal's triangle. The table that we had up here, so there's only one way of being at this point over here. The number of ways of going to this point is 1, and the number of ways of going to this point is 1. And then the number of ways of going to this point is this point plus this point, which is 2. And then the number of ways of going here is from here, it's just 1. And then this one is also 1. In that way we can, it, this is called Pascal's method, I'm not going to talk too much about it now. But in that way we can fill in the whole table, the points, according to how many ways there are of getting to it from 0, 0. And so if we take this table and we rotate it by a certain number of degrees, so that we're flipping it almost upside down, not quite. Then we get the following table. We get 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1. So this is the point that was originally 0, 0, which is in the, was in the bottom left corner. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. And we keep going like that. And what I want you to notice is that what Pascal's identity says is that each number is equal to the sum of the two numbers to its top left and top right. For example, 10 is equal to the sum of these two. 5 is equal to the sum of these two. So this identity allows us to construct Pascal's triangle in a recursive manner. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.